All righty. It is three minutes past the hour. Hopefully you can see my screen. Uh, welcome everybody to the Cupert community meeting on the 6th of September, 2023. Um, if you've just joined us, if you could please uh, pop your name down in the attendees, we will get started. Uh, so first up, is there anyone joining us today that would like to introduce themselves, whether they're new this week or have lurked before and haven't introduced themselves? Now is your chance to say hello. All righty. We'll move on ahead and have a look at the schedule. Open up chat. All righty. And our schedule at the moment is uh, nothing particularly interesting happening uh, this week um, at all. We have to wait for next week. So we'll close that. Have a short run to events, uh, which I haven't updated. So I'm not sure if. Uh, that's worth oh we've got a couple more things so open source summit in japan uh still has its cfp open it will close on september 10th so it's still a couple of days and kcd denmark as well and um i'm not sure if anyone's seen i haven't been able to find a reference for it but the kcd bratislava is doing a um croatian slovak um kcd it's it's on in three weeks september late september in bratislava um, there was a call from someone in our Slack channel, I think Hubert Dev, asking for um, yeah anyone who's interested in speaking to contact them. So if you are interested and you are available, um, check that out. Um, and it's not here, but uh, congratulations, Daniel, for your acceptance into, refresh my memory what it's called, uh, something in Tyrol. Um, it's SFSCon in uh, uh, Bolzano, Italy, I think. Sounds fantastic. Thanks. Yeah, let's see how it goes. I think there are a couple of other Red Hat speakers there. So happy to be there and happy to meet a couple of people in real life again. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, speaking of speaking, um, we had uh, Nitish last week or the week before, um, time gets away from us all, who gave a short demonstration on the um, work he's been doing as part of the Google Summer of Code. I was wondering if um, we could get into the habit of maybe doing that on a maybe monthly basis. Um, and I was wondering if there was anyone who's, before I put anything out in the mailing list, um, any of our Qbert community meeting regulars who are interested in providing, it doesn't need to be a demo, it doesn't need to be a presentation, it's kind of any format that you feel comfortable with. Um, it can be three minutes, it can be, well, let's not say 30 minutes, but uh, it can be 15 minutes, um, just as a way of, um, in a way, sharing with what it is that you're working on um, to other people that might not have the opportunity to know what it is that you work on. Um, yeah, so if you are interested, uh, give me a shout out and we can find a good week that works for you to add you to the agenda for that week. Um, and I just wanted to have a, speaking of shout outs, I wanted to shout out to Irma. I noticed as I was preparing for this meeting that he had raised a bug and added the good first issue tag straight on it. Um, and thank you for doing that. That is really helpful for um, new contributors who we've never met before, who can join, find the project and find a, a, a little, um, simple something to uh, whet their appetite into potentially contributing greater in this project. So thank you. All righty, we've got some stuff. Oh, excellent. Someone has also added the link to the Slack channel. Uh, thank you very much for that regarding the Qbert community days in Bratislava. Yeah, I did that. Uh, I was going to say exactly what you already said. So I did put the link in there for the, for the Slack chat. But so. Thank you. Um, also, Alexander, uh, I meant to call this out last week, but um, thank you very much for, I saw an, an 
epic thread on Slack the other day of you helping someone with an issue that ran to 70 comments or something. Um, and I believe it got resolved. I believe it got resolved. Um, so yeah, thanks, thanks for doing that. Um, that's really lovely to see. Uh, I believe the conformance test, oh, sorry. Um, I believe the next point on the conformance test on ARM64, it will belong to Howard if he's here. Uh, Hello. Oh. Hello, can you hear me? I'm mute. Sorry. Hello, yes, I, I can hear you. I'm just opening up the issues here. Uh, yes. Uh, this is some update of conformance test. Uh, we discussed uh, uh, in last uh, meeting. So uh, uh, I I have changed uh, in case someone may may uh, have no idea what it is. So uh, we we have some bar uh, tests are skipped because uh, those tests use Alpha Pi virtual machine to do the test, uh, and the Alpha Pi virtual machine not support on ARM sixty four. And uh, um, uh, I get suggestion, uh, some suggestion from maintainer to replace those virtual machine to Fedora. Uh, I get, uh, and I tried uh, this uh, this week, and I got some barriers. Of, uh, here is the current status of the test. Uh, there are 20 tests in total, and we have, uh, after enable the dual IP family, which include IPv4 and IPv6, uh, there are 30, 13 tests passed, and we have five tests escaped, and three tests related to migration, uh, which are not able to run in kind environment, and two tests related to network policy, uh, and the network policy seems not works well in kind environment. And we have two tests failed, uh, and all about IPv6. Uh, and uh, I really struggled with this issue. Um, <clears throat> I have spent about uh, three days on those issue, but I still have no idea uh, why why those tests failed. Um, and uh, if I uh, change the um, the test VM from Fedora back to the Alpha Pi, uh, the IPv6 uh, uh, works fine. I mean, those tests failed tests passed. Uh, but when I uh, replace the Alpha Pi Wave virtual machine to Fedora, those tests are failed. Um, and the, uh, there are some barriers when trying to replace Alpha Pi to Fedora. Uh, the first one is netcard. Uh, the NC command in Alpha Pi is a lightweight version. Uh, software, which is different from that in Fedora, which means some uh, uh, flag is not support in Alpha Pi. Um, oh, I mean, uh, when we're using night cards in F Fedora, uh, the command is different with that in Alpha Pi. So it's, <clears throat> it's lead to some test command not works in Fedora. And uh, I have made some modification uh, in the commit. I'm not sure if it is good uh, because it's lead to the code split to to diversion. We may spend more effort to maintain those code. Um, the second barrier is that uh, some IPv6 tests are failed. I have put a link here. Uh, 
I think those fields is not caused by the caused by the test code, but by the uh, virtual machine itself. Uh, I'm not sure why uh, why those tests failed. I have checked the uh, some uh, some parameters for, uh, from uh, while sys CTL uh, like uh, IP uh, IP forward or um, some other parameters. Uh, they are all same. Um, uh, I don't think it's related to kernel. If I try to open um, them all, um, <clears throat> and uh, Fedora don't have IP tables, so I don't think uh, it's blocked by the uh, firewall. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully anyone can provide some help if if possible. And uh, I also uh, considering um, uh, if we can be manually build Alpha Pi test uh, VM on on platform, uh, and I can do it. Um, if if so, we can avoid to do um, to 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 do many works on on like make modification to. Uh, when using Fedora VM. Uh, anyone have suggestion? S suggestion. Um, I think regarding the networking part, uh... You may want to. I think. I think. I mean, maybe you can ask yeah. for help from from uh, for specific things because it's like sounds like there are a lot of things. So I I could try and help, but we need to start to one by one. Not okay. not everything together because then it will be mm -hmm. it will be hard to start. Uh, but yes, yes. but you are you try to run it with kind right that's the that's the main change yes so i think we even uh, there were there was another attempt to run it with kind and there were other problems uh, i'm guessing you are not you are disabling sc linux right yeah okay. mm. well i can if you want you can I can try to start with someone. Maybe you can write a, a list and uh, like let's start with three three things, and and look one by one and try to okay. find out. Okay, I uh, I will write an issue and uh, uh, can I ping you? Yeah, sure. Thanks very much, Edward. Um, did we also want to look at this, or is this much the same? This uh, ten three hundred three. Howard. Yes. Sorry. <clears throat> the um, the second issue that you uh, where is it? The whole three oh. ten three oh three. Uh, oh yes. Uh, this is the initial enablement for conformance tests. Uh, what I have done those uh, this this week, uh, to replace the Alpha Pi to Fedora, and I have uh, um, submit code here. Uh, I think it's a, a little bit bit ugly. Um, yes, um, I, I, I will write an issue and uh, um, maybe let someone to take a look at this PR. Oh, okay, so you'd rather, you don't want to ask uh, anyone 
to give it some eyes at the moment, this particular one, or you'd rather raise an oh, issue? Yeah, great. Yeah. I, uh, that's fine. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's see. Okay, okay, that takes care of the agenda and the open floor. Um, as usual, if you think of anything um, that you'd like to add, uh, by all means, add it. We will return to it at the end. And if we don't, um, just jump onto the mic and say, hey, you've got my thing. I added it late. But for now, we will uh, move forward into the pull requests. Um, just the one. And I think it's relatively new. Let's have a look. Yesterday, it's kind of new. Um, all right, so allow image upload to recover from pending population phase. Let's just make sure no one's had a look at it. All righty. Uh, so this is looking for review. It is kind of fresh, so it's not a huge surprise it hasn't been looked at. Um, it looks as though it is relating to storage. And I think that probably that we might assign some storage people instead of Kedar or Marcelo and Eddie who are all not storage, I think. Yep. Uh, am I able to, I don't think I can, can I? You could, you could just uncc them, right? You could just um, oh, slash yeah. uncc and uh, remove them. And then maybe refer that to uh, Alexander probably so that he can take a look. I'm not sure. You can give it or... to uh, M. Hendricks. Oh, okay, cool. Um, well, I've well, I've got you on the horn. Um, can I uncc multiple people at the same time? And just I think so. Okay, Ed was one of them. Why isn't that coming up? Ed hyphen dev. No, where's the autocomplete? Is it broken? Hmm. Ed, oh, there he is. Oh, there it is. Okay. And Marcelo. Oh, Marcelo uh, Amaral. And hopefully we can lose all on one thing. And, and Henriksen. Cool. Thank you, Michael. Oh. Mailing list. Um, two announcements. One is, I'll click on it first. Um, announcing something to do with the CSI provisioner. Oh, announcing sub provisioner, a CSI plugin powered by Kumi storage daemon. Is there anything on the storage team that would like to give us a, you yeah, know, 15 second breakdown of this while we're all here. Sure. So basically, this is meant for uh, layering on top of like older stores that doesn't have a uh, particular CSI driver. Um, maybe you have like one large NFS or, uh, you know, um, fiber channel or whatever uh, volume. And you can put this on top of that to create snapshots and clones and things like that much more efficiently than um, you know, having to do it all manually. Um, and it allows you to slice up a large volume into smaller pieces. Awesome. And so am I right in thinking that this is, um, they're basically calling out that this has been um, this now exists on the QEMU side of things, and it would be a good idea to to have this in for Qubit, or is this now available for Qubit? Uh, it's uh, it's not specific to Qubit. It just um, is useful for Qubit in the fact that you can slice up a large volume into smaller pieces, so you can have multiple VMs on the same volume. Um, it's the the any thoughts part of it. It sounds like it. We don't yet have it um, implemented in Qubit. It, it's a CSI driver. It, it's 
that's not related to Kubernetes at all. You could use this for regular pods as well. So okay, so we can consume this um, straight out of the box. Yes, it's just it's a CSI driver. Gotcha, gotcha, cool. Thank you. So uh, we have a new design proposal, uh, the VM rollout strategy. Um, I don't know how many people have looked at the issue. Um, but yeah, I'll just read this out. The aim is to introduce a new strategy that would allow the propagation of applicable non-disruptive changes from the running VM object to the VMI immediately without staging it. So cool, if you've got thoughts on that proposal, uh, the link is in the thread. And the third one, which is from Shirley relating to metrics. And this is one that is asking for objections to proceed. Uh, background metrics names to release 1.0. Um, I will we'll read that faster than I can. Uh, yes, so please raise any objections uh, if you have them. Otherwise, I, I, as I understand it, she will just go ahead and, um, and backport that. Nothing else of interest. We've got three bugs. Um, I don't know. It's, I will load the rest. Okay. And unfortunately, undescriptive description. Um, does the title mean anything to anyone or do we need to ask this person to fill in the uh, PR, the, the bug description properly? Uh, this is a recurring problem I will come up on it. Oh yeah, okay. Can I see you do that? Yes, please. Yes. One minute, thank you. Got VNC not working correctly. Connection to an Ubuntu image. VNC has the wrong output. Wonderfully descriptive. Um, who, where, where does this fall? Who's the kind of person that we would think for something like this? There, there's a thread on this in Slack with a little more information. I, I told them to open a, an issue. Oh, okay. And this would be that issue. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so, I, um, which for lack of a better word, SIG will this fall to? This is a storage issue? No. Okay. No, uh, it, I, I honestly don't know what, what the issue is. I suspect it's probably an issue in a setup, but um, somehow that being be the having an issue. I, I honestly don't know what what, it, what even to, to look at, so. Okay. Uh. Alarming. All righty. I might. Could it, could it be a networking issue? If it's not an image issue? Maybe. Okay. I'll throw it to someone in the networking team. One more.
All right, Nishu, with cloning of the M. Oh, things are getting stuck. But this looks like a storage issue. One clone. Um, I think it's actually a super uh, core issue because he's doing a VM clone, not a disk clone. Uh, okay. and VM clone will eventually call a disk clone, but I think it's getting stuck before it's getting to the disk clone. Just really wanted to write something to the storage team. Apparently. Um, <laughs> well, my key words, clone, clone control. All right. Uh, is there on the core team um, that is able to help out with this bug? Hey Andrew, you can uh, uh, assign me. I will, yeah, I will speak to Itamar because I think that'll be maybe it's his area. Right. Thank you. Sure, you're welcome. And don't be afraid to throw that to the storage team if um, if you think. All righty, that brings us to the end. We'll have a quick look. No one's added anything to the agenda or the open floor. Um, yeah, so we'll give a customary a couple of seconds uh, if anyone wants to jump in and ask a question or say anything. Um, yep, here is your chance. Okay, I just wanted to ask uh, about this PR for providing SSH keys for no cloud configuration. Uh, is there anything I need to do or it's uh, when it get LGTM label, it will be merged soon. I can put it on open floor. That would be helpful. Ah, okay. All righty. We've got the LGTM. All right, so who are our viewers here? Um, does it make sense to ping Miguel about this, seeing as how he's reviewed it? in the past. Take you need a program. All oh, right, of course. Um, all right. Uh, Andrea, leave that with me, and I'll um, I'll ping someone from the approvers list, and see if okay. they can give you that that green light. Thanks. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, does anyone else have anything that I'd like to add? I'll give you another five seconds to jump in. Any last minute requests or questions? In which case, thank you very much for joining us. Um, have a lovely week, weekend, and we shall see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.